Space Business in Southern Jordan. Today I'll be presenting our security vendor, which is Fortinet, and what a product can we do Fortinet offer to the enterprise and the Jordanian market. Let's start thinking about uh, with a little bit brief about Fortinet, what's the, the revenue that we're doing since 2003 to, uh, to 2009. Uh, as uh, Bashar said, Fortinet founded in 2000. Now we have the 30 plus uh, global presence. Um, uh, Fortinet went public in NASDAQ in 2009. So this is again some, some, uh, some history about Fortinet. Um, Fortinet has a proven leadership because we keep the focus on security. Again, as Hakim said, we do not do anything but security. So this is the focus we're talking about. So the, uh, the, the main concept that we're concentrating on is to have is the security consolidated as much as possible. This is the first focus uh, we have. The second one is to have an industrial lead performance through um, considering or applying the hardware-based um, solutions, the asset-based, if you say so, uh, solutions, multiple ASIC processors will go through it. And finally, the lower the, the total cost of ownership. Once you have the that's doing you like six or seven functions, which are the UDM, the environment management uh, options, so you do not need any investment anymore in point solutions. Um, okay, so going through the traditional uh, network architecture, so this is how legacy networks look like. So having a point solution, uh, say for anti-spam, antivirus, firewall, VPN, uh, web filtering, and all of these point solutions. The, the, uh, the main disadvantage here is that we need a dedicated team in order to maintain like a different uh, five or six vendors and to go through the, uh, let's say, the uh, interoperability and comparability issues and all of that stuff. However, uh, with Fortinet, we have one single super hero unit that can do you all the stuff. The first debate that we have is about the performance. So the first question will be about performance. Fortinet has unmatched um, performance in terms of firewall processing, IBS processing, um, antivirus, and IPS. So we go through again the, the performance and what performance counter do we have and what's the product series that can fit uh, any business degree starting from the super level all the way up to the category. So again, real time integrated security intelligence, asset accelerated performance that's lowering the total cost of ownership and that's easy to deploy and maintain. So you, you don't need, uh, let's say, three or four uh, teams, uh, or let's say team members that's, uh, that should be dedicated just to do the point solution. You need just one person or uh, another person for backup, so they can take care of the whole stuff. Again, this is the same slide that had to went through, just to illustrate the basic function of firewall. So this is what, what security was all about in uh, the legacy term. Firewall, stay for firewall to, to allow certain ports and block uh, the others, VPN concentration with different flavors like IPsec and SSL. IPS, uh, with definitely with IPS. So this is again the legacy function. The web filtering solution through which you're categorizing the, uh, the websites based on the category or based on the content. And finally, application control. By the way, application control is a, uh, let's say, uh, a new trend being introduced to the security market. The, the simple concept of it, we'll go through another slide that illustrates exactly what application control is about. The application control is the way to classify the, the traffic based on the application that's generating the traffic in the first place. So you're not doing a stateful inspection, or you're not saying like, uh, because of, um, we're coming over port 80, so it's a browsing, uh, let's say, uh, traffic. So it could be like a P2P application that uh, that's trying to pass through the, the, uh, the, the uh, HTTP protocol, or the, uh, maybe it's like an instant messaging protocol. So again, we'll go through the, uh, the, the, uh, another example to illustrate what application the control is all about. Here we're stacking another security function that can give you a consolidated security solution. So adding on that the antivirus and its firewall, anti-spam, data loss prevention. This is an interesting feature. What we mean by DLP is that you literally can get any bit that trans uh, transmitting back and forth on your network. So for example, um, one client, or let's say one host, is trying to expose certain details. 
saying that the, uh, the financial uh, the department, they should, by definition, do not expose any like Excel sheets or any document that has a, let's say, 800 uh, terms um, being mentioned in, like, let's say, Excel or PDF or whatever the, the, the document. So, again, they, they should not leak any type of detail that's relevant to, let's say, uh, the information that's uh, highly classified. You can define your pros and your sensors through which you can say, this is what we're allowing to pass through our boundaries, and this is what do we, we not allow to pass through our boundaries. Again, you can do silent blogging for all of the outgoing and incoming contents. Another good news, no matter what, the, the transmission protocol that you're using, either it's an encrypted or a plain text uh, transmission uh, channel, you, you still can get the log. Okay? So this is in brief what DLP uh, is about. One optimization, the legacy term of uh, uh, saving your, your, uh, your one, uh, let's say, bandwidth. So it's uh, caching, another, another, uh, another term. And what the protection, the, the, the NAC, the NAC function through NAC, you can define the policy uh, through which you're saying this application is allowed to generate traffic, uh, let's say, to the right direction. Another example, or uh, another way how we can use NAC. You can define that um, uh, no, uh, no PC, or no computer, or no portable is allowed to generate any type of traffic if you have, a, let's say, a peer-to-peer -peer installation access. So what you need to do is just to uninstall the peer-to-peer -peer application then you can start um, accessing the amount of resources or accessing the, the web facilities and whatever type of uh, destination that you're doing this structure on. Um, vulnerability management, we have event and vulnerability uh, engines uh, within the 40 gig and 40 analyzer through which you can discover the network elements on your network and you can start targeting one of these elements as an attacker. So the 40 gig or the 40 analyzer will tell you what vulnerability do you have on that destination and how do you mitigate it. So what, what uh, hotfix do you need to apply or what service pack and, and all of that stuff. Wireless LAN, this is a new feature introduced uh, through 40 gates. Um, what, we, uh, what all of us is looking for is to have a managed wireless solution. Um, another ten, the 10 access point deployed and being um, and are connected to a mobile controller which, uh, which handling the, the roaming facility and the signal power and uh, how we can switch from one access point carriage to another seamlessly. So with 40 nuts, all what you need to do is just to upgrade the firmware of your 40 gig unit. Zero licensing. We do not have any per user license. So this is another good news. So all what you need to do is just to upgrade the firmware and you have the red controller on site. So what, uh, only what you need to buy is the access points. The 10 access points. Um, now we have IPv6 supported over time recruiting protocols like uh, Red Virtual 3 and BGP. SSL inspection. This is the ASIC, the SSL, pro uh, the SSL proxy uh, processor through which you can intercept any encrypted channel. So you decrypt, inspect, and if it complies or you're doing whatever type of, uh, let's say, conditions that you're saying within the configuration, then to re-encrypt and send back to the original destination. Basically, for, for, for guys who, uh, who know about some, some technical details, this is 100% middle and demand attack uh, simulation. So all what, uh, all what we're doing is just we're intercepting the, the, the uh, let's say, the HTTP session, say it's a, a uh, Let's say a good mail of communication session. So 40 gates, the SSL proxy of the 40 gates will introduce its SSL certificate to the client. Okay? So as long as you're terminating the, the encryption panel, so you can decrypt it and log into the traffic as a plain text. Again, we'll go through some, some technical details just to explain the function. Last but not least, we have full support. We have some models. Um, with limited PBX functionality for, for, for solo grades. We also can do for protection and, uh, and what number of uh, session um, being established per minute and, and all of that stuff regarding the, the IPS fraction of VoIP. Again, this is the big umbrella of 40 up security platform and what functions do we offer uh, through our different uh, product families.
Again, we're keeping the focus and we're getting the sample shortcut through providing an unmatched performance and a competitive price. So having all of these fancy functions counted in one box without affecting, literally without affecting the performance. So this is uh, this should be very competitive in their conference. Um, okay. Again, this is a simple illustration about the growing number of threads that uh, um, uh, that we're seeing in the in the in the world since 2001 to 2009. We can see the uh, most likely exponential growth of number of attacks because as long as we have new technologies and providing us with, uh, let's say, fancy functions, you have the rest. So we need to maintain the options and technologies, but to mitigate the rest. So this is what Fortinet is all about. Okay? Again, to do more with less, um, Again, what this slide is saying, you need to have your data center available to users, you need to provide, uh, like, um, uh, let's say, emails over phones and VoIP services and all of that stuff, but to protect the, the integrity of your system, uh, protect, um, uh, protect the, the whole uh, data center from any uh, penetration attempts or any vulnerability that uh, you're not aware of. So, our platform is responsible to tell you where is the vulnerability, how to mitigate it, and what's the best practice deployment in order to have the secure or the CIA uh, terms if you say so. Uh, okay, I think this is the, uh, this slide is to illustrate the, the, the growing uh, uh, percentage of risks and what's the, 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 let's say, the driving force in order to eliminate the risks. Uh, also, uh, it, uh, what, what this is trying to tell us is to be proactive, not reactive. So we don't wait, uh, let's say, the attack to take place, then we can respond to the attack. So we need to be proactive. This is by lowering your response time. Consequently, this will lower your response time because you're actually predicting what could be happening. So um, um, many procedures could be considered in order to um, let's say, uh, to avoid such instances. Again, future-proof your security and look for opportunities and consolidate without compromise. This is why reduce the complexity of your network, so you do not need like six or seven platforms in order to have a secure environment. You can do it only with 14 apps. Again, to decrease risk, this is, this is by logic, once you're decreasing, the, the protection level, consequently you uh, decreasing the, the risk level. Okay. To the interesting part. Say that you have a legitimate application functioning over port AV, say like a regular web browser. Okay. So we have multiple engines that intercepting the traffic and the internal traffic is subject for, for multiple engines in order, in order to scan uh, for what basically to scan what's the content that's coming from the, the WAN, let's say, in, uh, with our example. So the first, the first engine will be the firewall. So is this a, uh, uh, let's say, a legitimate port? Or do we allow port 80 to, uh, to, uh, to pass traffic through our network or not? So this is the first tier. The second tier is the application control. Again, application control, we're categorizing the applications based uh, or sorry, we're categorizing the traffic based on the application that's generating the traffic in the first place. So this is to know that it is a legitimate web browser is sending us the traffic, or it is a web server is uh, giving us some details that we requested through our web browser. Again, it can tell you that it is like an MSM messenger trying to uh, to play over port 80, or it's like a, uh, a new PHP application that's trying to do its job over port 80. So this is what application control can, can, can do. The second tier is the antivirus, anti-spyware. Um, 